Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today, I wanted to do a single mom Q&A because I have been a single mom now for almost a year, and I have gotten so many DMs from moms who are wanting to leave their relationship that is either unhealthy or toxic, but they want to know kind of what their life could possibly look like as a single mom and if it's worth it. Long story short, yes, it is always worth leaving a toxic or unhealthy relationship, but I wanted to answer questions that you guys had, so let's get into it. I want to be super honest and blunt with a lot of these questions because I don't want to paint this fairy tale story for you guys because being a single mom is one of the hardest things I have ever done, but I can 100% say it is also one of the most rewarding. So the first question is, do you have the kiddos full-time? You are amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, I do have the kids full-time. The next question is, do the children get to see their dad? Dad. No, there is no contact due to the restraining order. So for their safety, they're not seeing their dad. The next question is, did you have to pick up a second job besides YouTube after getting divorced? Thankfully, I did not have to pick up a second job. I think now more than ever, my boys need me, especially during this time. And I'm so thankful that YouTube gave us the opportunity to be able to do that. The next question is, where do you see yourself in a couple of years or where do you want to be in a couple of years? Definitely in school. I've already started the first steps to getting back in school and everything, and I am so excited. I know it's going to be a long, hard journey, but I feel like I'm ready for it. I feel like life has already kind of thrown some pretty heavy things at me. So school, like, look, I'm not in college. I feel like all the college kids right now are watching this. Like, girl, you don't even know. It's the hardest. But look, I feel like I could handle it. I feel like because I am so passionate about psychology now and there's just like a fire burning beneath me, I'm ready. I'm like, let's start this bitch. Let's go. Let's let's learn. Because literally all I do 24-7 is research all of the psychology shit. Like, I might as well be in school getting it from textbooks, getting somewhere in life, right? The next question is, do you think you will ever date again? Absolutely. Being a single mom does not mean that you are not able to date, especially recently coming out. I'm really excited to explore more of my sexuality and all of the fun stuff that comes with that. So yes. <laughs> Next question is how do you separate your own time versus always being with the kids? I don't. Uh, my time is their time. Their time is their time. And um, our time is their time. So it's their time. <laughs> Nap times, they're difficult. Bedtime, it's difficult. Those are the only times that I get like alone time. And during those times, I feel like I am so mentally exhausted from running around like a chicken with his head cut off all day. <laughs> I feel like towards the end of the day, I'm like, damn bitch, you did it. Look at you, you exhausted. You look at a little messy, you tired. But you did it! The next question is, have you been to therapy since everything went down? Unfortunately, I haven't. Therapy is extremely expensive. I've looked into a lot of services that they offer for victims of abuse, so I am actively looking into it. I'm a huge fan of therapy. I literally want to become a therapist. So yes, I want, I want therapy more than ever. That would be like the best birthday gift. Like, can I ask? Santa for that? Like, is that a thing? <laughs> the next question is, how do you get the kids out of the car when you're alone and bedtime? Question mark, question mark, question mark, girl. It's a lot of question marks for me too. I don't know how I do it, but I just do it. I feel like that's like the single mom motto is you just do it. It's like Nike. We're like Nike, just do it. <laughs> what I do though is I always get Grayson out first because Grayson listens so I could unbuckle him, have him sit in his seat because your girl has too much anxiety to like have them get out of the car. There could be cars passing, people could be snatching your kids. Like I'm too paranoid for that. So I have him sit in the car and then I go around the other side. Then I get August out. Then I pick him up and then I'm like, come on Grayson. And then he comes out this way and then we go to the door. That's, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but you know, muscles. <laughs> and don't even get me started on bedtime, guys. It is the most hectic ever. We get it done, like we get it done, but it's hectic, it's hectic. <laughs> Especially because they are sharing a room. Let me rewind, this is what I did at first. I had them go to sleep together in the same room. I would lay them down, I'd lay in there, but then Grayson would be like all hyped up because he's around his brother. So then he would be jumping around on the bed and be like, come on baby, let's lay down. And he's like, no. So that would hype up August and then it's just almost impossible to actually get them to lay down. So what I have been doing is using my room. So what I'll do is I'll lay down August, cuddle with him for a little bit, while Grayson is like getting ready for bed, brushing his teeth, going potty, getting water. And so then he goes and lays down in bed. And then once I have August kind of like situated and laying down, I go in there, 
cuddle with Grayson for a little bit, wait for him to fall asleep, and then I'll scoop him up and put him inside that room. And then they, they've been working really well with that. Even though Grayson does wake up a lot and will come back inside my room, that still gives me a little bit of time to have like alone time. I never really have but alone time <laughs> but the biggest thing that has helped with that is having a routine with them look it's it's not like the easiest I'll be honest with you guys but it does make it easier <laughs> this is squeaking I am so sorry I don't know how many times you guys have heard a squeak but you know just know it's not from my butt it's definitely from the chair the next question is how do you get basic things around the house done when your kids are home so what I do is I get them involved in whatever I'm doing whether that be cooking cleaning not only does that make it easier for me but it teaches them a lot about life it's a lot of bonding time and it just makes it easier rather than like trying to get them distracted and like doing things so cleaning up it's all together, it's one team. The really cool thing is that if I could get Grayson to do it, I could 100% always get August to do it because August is just like this little sponge that is like a mega copycat. So like if Grayson's throwing toys in the bin, August is throwing toys in the bin, and then with cooking, I'll just pull a chair up like far away, you know, from the, from the stove or whatever, but they're able to like watch and then I'll pick them up, let them like stir whatever I'm stirring and everything. And so, yeah, even vacuuming, they love like, helping vacuum they even have like a lot of like mock like cleaning supplies that way sometimes when you know kids aren't actually helping they can at least feel like they're helping they're getting like the routine and the point of it you know what I mean while well, I'm actually like deep cleaning but for the most part they love helping like it's not really ever a chore to like try to get them to help I feel like it's more like picking up your toys and stuff but like if I'm like scrubbing something down they're like give me a rag let's go and I'm like okay the next question is do you still find time for friends sending love thank you so much sending love right back no I don't my friends are my kids and my kids are my friends I know that's not healthy I know a lot of my friends were long distance to begin with so Bia you know I could FaceTime her and that I could do any time of the day me and Megan obviously still see each other so I'm still getting human interaction but like friends that are not like super duper close to me it's just so hard trying to like organize something unless they want to do it with my kids and I feel like people my age like they're not trying to go do a play date they're trying to go to the bar and like I can't go bring my kids there but the ones that are close they're here and yeah <laughs> so my camera's dying we'll be back the angle might be a little bit different because the camera died but we're here we're good let's go <laughs> the next question is do you live near your mom family members that you're close to no, I don't. My mom lives in Washington. We have visited her, I want to say like three times, so that has helped a lot. It does suck that while all this happened, my mom moved like kind of during the midst of it all. It's been extremely difficult, but I feel really accomplished and proud of myself. But if you do have the help, take it guys. It takes a village to raise kids. Don't be ashamed in it. The next question is, do your kids attend daycare now since being a single parent? No, they do not. Daycare is so expensive guys it is literally like rent the next question is who's more of a handful now that they've grown up a bit grayson or august they are a handful both in their own little ways in different situations i feel like every parent says this so like in the car august is the handful grayson's a lot easier as far as like being home grayson has a lot of energy to put out and so obviously that keeps me really busy i don't know just different times they've got different things going on so yeah the next question is how would you explain to your kids if you were in a same-sex relationship also love you guys love you right back it is something that i have made a point to normalize for my kids so if you were to see me in a same-sex relationship i just i don't think that he would be like what's going on here like it it's just love is love and kids see that but there has been a lot of education as far as the lgbtq plus community anyway i've done a lot of videos off of youtube and get a lot of books about the lgbtq plus community so him seeing like same-sex relationships he sees that often i feel like this question would be a lot different if he wasn't already pretty educated on the topic the next question is has your spirituality had an effect on how you parent also you are awesome thank you so much you're awesome right back and yeah definitely i already did positive parenting before but spirituality has just kind of instilled that even more in me now and i love teaching them about what i believe in i will always say that they are free to believe in whatever they want they love crystals they love all the tarot decks they get so 
into it like they're like oh mommy what's this like what's this and so i love talking about it with them the next question is what's a brief rundown of your day-to-day -day life girl chaotic that's that's the rundown right there done I'll do a day in the life of a single mom so that way you guys can kind of get a better picture Maybe I'll do that video next because that would be really interesting So we'll probably do that next. But anyway next question is is August talking in full sentences? He is I cannot believe this kid like he is just a sponge and he is so smart and he is learning more and more every single day and especially because he has Grayson as his peer and so he gets to watch and learn from him but it's just crazy some of the sentences that he like comes and tells me and I'm just like who are you like you're crazy like he told me the other day I'll put it on here I put it on my Instagram but he was like he said something like want to go get coffee because he's used to our morning coffee run and I'm like boy you do not drink coffee like what you mean cake pop you mean cake pop I'm not get coffee. you want to go get coffee yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the next question is what is your biggest accomplishment from being a single mom Honestly, getting up every day and just doing it. Like, that in itself is a big accomplishment. Obviously, there has been, like, other accomplishments, but I'm just proud that, like, I still go and try and put my best foot forward. It's hard and it's difficult, but I will do anything for those boys. And yeah, that is it. So thank you guys so much for asking the questions. If you have any more, feel free to go to my Instagram and my DMs are always open. I'm always trying to reply back to you guys. So I will see you guys there and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.